from the two-yard line. It's Wakefield, and he is brought down shy of the 15. Jackson, those last two games. Shermer from the pocket gets hit, and the ball was out, but it's ruled a forward pass. It was Zuniga that had pressure that time on Shermer, so a three and out for Vanderbilt to start the game. Kicks this year, they come after this one, but do not get to Tomey, who gets off a good punt. Fielded at the 33 by Freddie Swain, and he's bottled up. Brought down at the 35-yard line. This is already that he had all of last year. He's going to throw here on first and 10 to the sideline. And it is caught by Josh Hammond at the 49-yard line. So that's a 14-yard pickup. Now they come out with tempo. Out in space to Hammond. Has blockers inside the 40 and to the 38-yard line. Nine. Protecting the ball, even though he's got those picks in the last couple of games, as Scarlett catches it out of the backfield. It's another Florida first down to the 25, 13 yards. Like that. Ninth play of the drive, and the pass tipped in the air, and it is intercepted. Williams picks it up. I thought he was down, but they haven't ruled him down yet. He's taken it back the other way for a touchdown. So the ruling on the field is going to be a touchdown, but boy, it looked like he was down. That was wild. All right, tipped up in the air. He, of course, secures the catch right there. And look at that left knee. He's down. His right knee is down there you as think, well. You think he's down? Officials aren't awake yet. How do you miss that? Well, I like the officials playing it. I, I mean, don't blow it dead. Let it play. Let it ride. And Third pick in the last three games by Franks. Vaughn. And he's loose. He's got running room past the 15-yard line. And the Illinois transfer stays in bounds. All the way up to the 45. This kid can fly. Nashville native picks up about 43. And a great job on the outside zone and a poor job of tackling in the hole by David Reese. But no one held contain on the outside. Former Gatorade Player of the Year in Tennessee, Shermer going downtown, caught at the 40 for a first down by the leading receiver in the SEC, Kalijah Lipscomb. And it's a jet sweep to Lipscomb with blockers inside the 10-yard line and finally knocked out a play at the 7 by Brad Stewart. It's first and goal for Vandy. Play fake, Shermer. Looking, got a wide open man. It's a touchdown for Jared Pinckney. Seven here today, and now Franks back to the air after an interception. He is throttled in the backfield, taken down at the 16 yard line. It was Stone Edwards who made the play. Yeah, and watch Stone Edwards coming from the edge. You're going to see a lot of movement. And as a result, they get a little discombobulated up front. Next thing you know, Felipe Franks is eating turf. Franks will throw again on second and long. That one is caught on a comeback route at the 32-yard line by Van Jefferson, a Nashville native. They're built late first quarter, 7-0. Franks from the pocket, slings it complete. A first down to the 38-yard line to Kyle Pitts. Scarlett is drilled at the five-yard line. Great defense by Vanderbilt. And how about Drew Birchmeyer had the... And this is a 22-yard attempt. And he gets Florida on the board Field early the in the second quarter. The state champion in high school. On first down, Shermer setting up the screen to the Mamba. He's past the 30-yard line, and there he goes, crossing midfield. He stumbles. They track him down at the five. They push him out of bounds at the one-yard line. No, it's a touchdown. It is a touchdown, 75 yards for Keyshawn Vaughn, the Red Mamba. What an effort. As you can see, tight roping that sideline and extending that ball over the pylon. What a play by Keyshawn Vaughn. Oh. Here's pressure, Franks gets hit, and the ball sails over the head of Kyle Pitts. Kenny Abair 
Got pressure on Felipe Franks to force a high throw. Florida, they need something good to happen. Maybe it'll come from him. Drives Trey Ellis back to the nine yard line, but Ellis has a ton of running room past the 30. There's a penalty marker down though, back at the 10. It was things up here. Gonna give to Keyshawn Vaughn, hit in the backfield. Does well to get back near the line of scrimmage, but will still lose a yard. Down to three. Shermer to throw here with time. Receiver wide open. It Baldo comes out. CJ Bowler, who's been very good this year, could not hang on. Swain has to back up to field it on his 29-yard line. And Swain gets a block, gets another one past midfield. And out of bounds inside the Vanderbilt 40-yard line. And they will run the ball straight ahead, diving for the first down. A lot of room between the tackles for Jordan Scarlett again of the Oakland Raiders. And he ended up getting that opportunity. Franks fumbles the ball. It's kicked around. Odengbo can't get it. Johnson can. And now it's kicked to the sideline. Finally scooped up by Vanderbilt. Dio Odengbo comes up with it. Crazy play. The ball bouncing everywhere. It's Vanderbilt football inside the 30-yard line. A quarterback drop power. Rolling on the field is a fumble recovered by Vanderbilt. First down. Very clear that the ball is out. And you see Odangbo kind of <laughs> bumbling, stumbling. Ball's bouncing up in the air. And it almost goes out of bounds. Let's see if they can do it here. Blasting game trying to cut it back. Runs into a wall. Jabari Zaniga there first. The ball. And a penalty marker down. There is some pushing and shoving after the play. Second and goal. Wakefield straight off into the end zone. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. Game. Franks to throw. And it's caught for a first down by Tyree Cleveland to the 39-yard line. Haven't seen any of that today. Franks off play action. Gets hit and sacked at the 38-yard line by Louis Vecchio. A grad transfer from Penn. Vecchio right here. He's going to slip inside and beat Heggy, who has a club on his left hand. If you look at the percent, gets the sack. Franks throws a strike to Jefferson. Going to bring up third down. You know, guys, when you've been winning the way. Third and five. Leaving the backfield is Piran. He has the catch and has the first down. Piran inside the 10. It'll be first and goal. Plenty of time for Florida. They go tempo. Piran again. Hit at the one. Reaches the ball out. The ball comes out. It's still up in the air. And they finally rule the Florida running back down. Another weird bounce. But ruling in the field is Piran is tackled down at the one yard line. Whoa. <laughs> Ryan, as he's going down, you see him extend that left arm. That's a touchdown, isn't it? After review, video evidence shows that the runner did break the goal plane of the goal line. It is a touchdown. Please reach off the right-hand side. Shermer stands tall in the pocket, but Joseph knocks it down. Fourth down. And Dan Mullen saves his timeouts. They're going to get the ball back with plenty of time in the clock. Down earlier in the season is deep. And this is a line drive right to him. Swain from the 25-yard line. He's already at the 35 and a flag down. Swain out of bounds near midfield. A second penalty marker is down. And pressure off the edge. P. Ryan out in space. He's got running room at the 40-yard line. P. Ryan into Vanderbilt territory. Cuts it back at the 30-yard line. Being chased at the 15. They finally get him and take him down with five seconds left. And Vanderbilt, or Florida rather, will call a timeout with five seconds to go. They're not going to get it because you're at your 15-yard line with a minute to go. And McPherson nails it. 21-13 is the score at halftime. Third down and nine. Franks from the pocket. Incomplete. Intended for Jefferson. So a field position opportunity here. And it's a poor punt. Fair catch made at the 48-yard line by Trey Ellis. 
Shermer on second down, rifles it over the middle, and able to hang on to it is Chris Pierce for the first down at the 15-yard line. Keep an eye on Pinkney right there in the slot. Pass underneath is caught by Pierce. He will not get the first down. So, And he missed it. Fourth down. Tommy Townsend on the punt. It's a fake. Townsend picks up the first down. What a call by Dan Mullen. Townsend gets the first down to the 45. They haven't blown it dead just yet. Now they finally do. An 18-yard run by the punter. And now pushing and shoving. The punter getting into it. Third and three. Franks throws to Jefferson. Is free at the 20-yard line. And going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Gators. hit his stride yet but it's coming Shermer wide receiver is wide open it's Lipscomb first down and more to midfield Florida completely vacated that side of the field indeed the Gators Shermer does get hit that time maybe felt the pressure from behind by Zuniga and threw wide of the target a victim to one Tomei trying to pin the Gators deep there are four Vanderbilt players down there. What a great over-the-shoulder catch by the long snapper, Tommy Scheiger. 40 seconds to go in the quarter. Franks in the pocket with time. Down the seam. It's caught by Stevens. A first down. He's had some big catches this year. A ton of occasions, including this one for the Florida Gators. On third and three, a huge gap. Scarlett is gone, and the Gators have the lead. Touchdown, Florida. The only rush for Shermer steps up, completes the pass, but short of the first down. Lipscomb on the catch. He told me here to get off a good punt, and he doesn't. Although Swain has trouble with it, muffs it, but then covers it up at the 26-yard line. Each other on both sides of the ball, fun group. Good play there. Pierce fumbles the ball, and it's recovered by Vanderbilt. Another turnover by the Gators. That's what we've been praising these running backs all game long. The freshman Pierce gets the ball stripped. What a huge play, and Vanderbilt's defense yet again comes up huge. Colin Anderson forces it, recovered by Zaire Jones. 40-yarder from here. Shermer throws high, incomplete. Intended for Pierce. It's fourth down. But he's perfect on this one. That's a big three points. Turnover issues in this game. They're going to let him throw here on first down. And his pass is caught. To the 40-yard line is Cleveland. First down Gators, a pickup of 15 yards. Here comes a reverse to Tony. And he's got a ton of green inside the 30. Inside the 25 and down to the 22-yard line. 28-yard run by Kadarius Tony. Bottom of your screen, and they're going to throw it over here. And Swain stumbled, but gets inside the five, dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Gators. Well, a very similar play to what they scored on a second ago. They have the run play to the right. Vanderbilt adjusted their alignment. That time they had too many defenders on the right side of the center. He takes the RPO bubble to... Ford on territory. Pressure coming up the middle. Shermer has his man. Pickney on the catch. As Tom Henson won the territory, obviously down 10 points. Try to get a chunk of it back here. Down to the 34-yard line is Ellis. So only about six yards. You're looking at fourth and 15 here for Vanderbilt. But... 53-yard attempt. Does it have enough? It does! Riley Gay, who missed a 25-yarder in the third quarter, makes a 53-yarder in the fourth. And it's a seven-point game. Wow! He got all of that. And it curved in there beautifully. I mean, I, how do you miss a 25-yarder from the same hash and then nail 
one from that distance, and it still had some room to go. That was a heck of a kick. They're going to run P. Ryan, and he got it. First down and more. Out to the 40-yard line. P. Ryan. A ton of running room. First down into Vanderbilt territory inside the 35-yard line. The will of the Gators, just too much for Vanderbilt to handle as the Gators have run for close to 300 yards, consistently winning at the line of scrimmage. The Gators don't get it. They might go for it on fourth down. P. Ryan is dropped for a loss at the 26, so freshman kicker. 43-yard attempt by McPherson. It hooks in. It's good. And Florida leads by 10 with 37 seconds to go. Seconds to go. Shermer looking downfield, long throw. It is intercepted by Gardner Johnson. One more snap for the Florida offense. End the game and get in the locker room. We'll keep an eye on the handshake here between Dan Mullen and Derek Mason. After Florida closes this one out, 37-27, the Gators beat the Commodores. And it appears no hard feelings after that exchange at the end of the first half. You know, that's